in the start uh, khanum farinoosh will uh, introduce tazheeb and then her course and then what is required of the students after which uh, three or four of her students will share with us their experience of learning this classical art form Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim nice to see all of you i uh, i'm so uh, happy to see all of you <laughs> uh, and um Uh, thank you so much for, uh, for uh, thank you so much uh, that you <laughs> introduce uh, thank you uh, mr taimur uh, so i go to uh, tashib uh, i just uh, say something uh, brief about myself my university major was handicrafts and islamic art respect uh, respectively but i uh, concentrated on uh, persian illumination which is among the uh, sacred uh, art uh, for uh, in it we don't have any uh, image from a human being or animal so we can only see abstract uh, plant uh, motifs uh, which is said that the origin of uh, some of them is uh, celestial such as islimi uh, which uh, imam ali presented it to chinese in front of their khatayit Uh, go back to tashib that it originates from the arab word zahaba uh, it means gold plating for uh, in this art a great uh, amount of gold uh, was used in the past it was a kind of a spiritual path it is said uh, in the principles of traditional uh, illustration that if an artwork lacks uh lacks ethics or manner the final product will be formless or uh mm, amor- amorphous uh in the dictionary adab uh, is taken from adab unfortunately when other societies were no longer tradition traditional ethic disappeared from the traditional art so they become more uh, if i can say this thing uh, they they become more exoteric uh, at the beginning book of onuno sovar that is written by uh, Oh, excuse me, I forgot the name of it. Uh, so, Qanun uh, Sovar, a law of images. Uh, the ethic of a spiritual education of a painter is discussed. Uh, another important issue is about, uh, is about practice or mashq uh, kardan. In the uh, treaties of uh, ethic, adab al-mashq, three principles uh, have been used for practice in an account this treatise author is mir emad uh, in uh, or uh, another baba shah esfahani both of them were the most famous iranian calligrapher in the 16th century and this manuscript was written for calligraphy but we can consider it for all of the traditional arts uh there are three mashq including uh the first one theoretical uh it means uh, look at the work of a uh, master uh the second step copy uh, copy it for around two year for around two years i mean all the manuscript and uh, the uh, last step is imaginary draw yourself and not copy so at first uh, we need to have uh, two steps and the last uh, one is imaginary think at this time we can moving towards the history and uh, course outline um, the origin of the motifs is unknown but uh, at first they used flowers in a simple way like these pictures yes so uh, you can see some of the motifs uh, they're related to uh, uh sasani period uh, and this is a lotus and some other things 
there are some simple uh, patterns that we had before, all of them from uh, Sasani period. Yes, uh, then, um, then they concentrated to each other uh, and, uh, and some of the flowers uh, were so important like lotus, as I told you before. Uh, and uh, they use arcs and uh, spirals after that. Uh, and uh, we, can, um, we can see lots of work from Sasani and uh, Parthian period. In this picture that you can see right now, the patterns uh, evolved over time. Uh, they became so different. In the sixth or seventh uh, century, uh, we reached to Ilkhani and Temuri period, uh, which, uh, which the latter one was the best period in all of the art, in architecture, in all of the uh, arts that related to uh, books, uh, especially Quran and Shahnameh. Uh, and um, the best period in all of the art, uh, excuse me, uh, after this, uh, it was the Jalayerian. Jalayerian was between um, Saf uh, excuse me, Taimuri and Safavi period. That was a, a short period uh, uh, and it was in Tabriz. Uh, and uh, the, uh, after that, we reached to uh, Safavi, and the last one is Qajar. So it's better to see some of them. Uh, this one related to uh, Jalayerian. It's a part of a miniature. We can see lots of beautiful uh slimy for example here or in this uh things in this building we can see a lot of something look like illumination this one for um uh, temporary period and this one ilhani this one a uh, temporary again Everything is so beautiful and and then reach to Safavi and this one is for Qajar. And these are some masterpieces that related to uh, Ilkhani and Taimuri. This is the whole work. Um, I consider two semesters, including uh, drawing and coloring. In the first semester, we'll learn uh, all of the motifs, uh, which is start from leaves and flowers, uh, which are called khatai, and then go to slimi, uh, and at least uh, we shall use both of them with each other. In the second semester, uh, the design uh, issue con continues and uh, we'll start color work as well. Uh, at this time, we need to be familiar with cat branch uh, for outlining and we go step by step. In a short way, the steps of color work uh, are these. Uh, I just uh, say it uh, right now. The first step is copy of design. Uh, after we uh, finish all of it and uh, after correction, all of the correction, we copy it with a tracing paper and then uh, transfer it to canvas. And I, uh, and I shall uh, say you how you should make a canvas and how you should um, color the uh, paper and size them. Uh, then uh, do the first outlining with Sienna, uh, erase all the uh, pencils work, apply to, uh, then apply the gold color. Most of the time, all of the stems and leaves are gold. 
and burnish all of the colored uh, patterns without uh, putting tracing paper on it. Then apply the color of the flowers and other motifs, including the slimy frames and the other things. But this time we need uh, to put tracing paper on our work and then burnish it because we don't want uh, they become so uh, shiny. And uh, do the final out, uh, outlining with uh, dry ink and uh, shading flowers. And sometimes uh, we shade uh, Slimmy too. Draw the tables and chains and apply the color of the background. And at last, we add some additional decoration, uh, some sharaf, I like these things that you can see in this work. Uh, at last, the last issue is what expected from uh, what uh, what's expected from students. As I told before, if you want to make progress in our work, we should practice. I mean, uh, the more the better. Uh, therefore, homework is expected to be presented in each session, and if you can practice at least thirty minutes but every day you will be see your progress. At the end of these uh, semesters, everyone according to his or her effort can have nice designs and color work as well as uh, drawing uh, tasheep uh, with the help of some masterpieces. And uh, let me show some uh some other things if if i have time if not uh we'll go to uh the other uh plan. please please do show uh-huh yes thank you um some of the students uh ask about uh ask about slimy uh and uh it's hard to say uh how should uh be uh, how should draw a slimy? But um, in the past, most of the masters uh, told uh, to students go to Jame Abbasi Mosque in Naqsha Jahan, uh, square in Isfahan, and just uh, sit and copy these things. Uh, is it all right? Can you see them? Uh, this one is Sheikh Lotfola. This is another masterpiece. This is Jama Abbasi Mosque. It's related to Safavi period. And you can see the whole picture of uh, Jama Abbasi. Uh, excuse me, uh, Naqsha Jan Square. Here we have some Islami. They're uh, related to past uh, the, um, from the uh, Mm, Sasani period uh, until now. For example, this kind of slimy that's so that they have a lot of decoration, they're related to Safavi period and Qajar. And here we have some flowers, we call them Khatayi, but we don't use these kind of flowers in Tasib, they're so uh, complicated. Uh, we use some things in Tassi that's so simple. And the thing that I talk about, about the spirals, I mean this. This is the composition, uh, the combination between Slimi and Khatayi. This is another one. Uh, each of them has one name, for example, this one, it's a Vagire uh, from Eshamse. This one, we call them Lachak, and this one Torant, that they should relate it to each other, the patterns, I mean. For example, here we have something uh, that's a cover of book of Safavi period, I think. And this is Shamse because it's look like the sun. Another one related to Safavi period. The other one here, you can see Taj, uh, crown, and Sharafe. 
the thing that I told you before about some chains or get it or not. And this one is a uh, Waikire. And uh, at first we draw this and then we copy and transfer it. So this one is a 112. This is another crown. This is a whole work. It is uh, one of the masterpieces related to Ilhani. And this is uh, some of the picture that related to uh, early period. This is this one is another masterpiece related to Taimuri period. And this is for Safavi again. You can see all of this Lini. And here you can see something. Uh, it's a, a Slimi. In Persian, we call it a Slimi Goldar. Uh, a Slimi that in it we have some flowers. And uh, this one is cat brush and dry ink. Uh, and Justice. Yes, that's it. Salam. Thank you. That was an excellent presentation. Thank you so much. So, with your permission, can I, can we start with Rabia? If you would like to speak about your experience of learning Tazib from Khanum Farinush. Yes, it has been a wonderful experience, very, very informative experience for me so far. And um, it has been uh, like, I'm learning something very new, but it needs a lot of practice, lot of practice. And uh, yes, uh, Farinosh is a very, very supportive and helpful um, teacher. Uh, so this is my second semester with her. Uh, um, we are doing, uh, we are working on our color practice and a practice, we are practicing color and uh, at the same time working in, on improving our compositions, uh, trying to improve uh, Islimi drawings and um, uh, how, and learning new knots and uh, new compositions. I see. So uh, it's, a, it's a very nice uh, journey of the Zee with Khanam Farinosh so far. And uh, uh, right now uh, I have been studying with her for the last six months. And it's my second semester and uh, we are working on a color work. So for new students, I really advise them that uh, Khanam will be giving you all the practice practice uh, assignments do do your practice on time submit that and Khanam really puts in all the effort to go through each and every line that you put on your paper she runs her pen through it to, to correct it and uh, she guides you on it even if it takes more than like the class time is like one and a half hour but even if it takes more than that she goes beyond that uh, in guiding her students and that's very nice so don't don't hesitate just ask uh, whatever questions you have and the second thing is that uh, in traditional arts the teacher does just the 40 percent of the effort the 60 the remaining 60 percent is on the student they have to go research and study about all the things that are available to them uh, now that we have internet and it's very easy to access things. Uh, there are many, many websites. They have masterpieces available on them. You can go and study them. And when you study and research on your own, you will have more questions in your mind, uh, mm -hmm. which you will not have without research. Yes, you will be like, uh, you will have a tendency to to be spoon fed, which I say. So uh, if you uh, go on that path, that will be pretty hard for you. But uh, I encourage that 
you do research mm-hmm. like i did and uh, it's been amazing uh, amazing journey with khanam so i am always improving and uh, sharing my mm-hmm. compositions with <laughs> with my teacher so i advise students to do that as well <laughs> mashallah his well is an amazing student also you should see his work and you won't believe that he's just been learning for 6 months <laughs> okay so uh, uh, learning the tazib with uh, freenosh had been a wonderful experience the good thing about freenosh shaban about this course is that she starts her course from scratch i mean you don't you don't need to worry about it that you must have some previous knowledge of arts or i mean if you have an art background or uh, an art experience it is irre- irrelevant of that i mean i mean you can start working from scratch and you can uh, produce uh, beautiful pieces at the end of the course and slowly and gradually she takes us she starts uh, uh, teaching us uh, her uh, uh, very first flower and then we develop uh, so we start develop, uh, developing our own beautiful compositions so that is the best thing about furino so for, uh, i shall advise the, the new stu- uh, students that there is no need to be afraid of this thing that it is a difficult and complicated art and we may not be able to go or cope with the course there is no such thing because khanam is and uh, to, to some extent it is not very easy to for this uh, for to learn this traditional art uh, online in from uh, 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 online because always physical presence is always i think when you are physically present with the teacher it makes difference but the good thing about free noosh is that she uh, doesn't uh, i mean for not a, for a moment i feel in the class that i should have been there along with free noosh uh, present physically i mean she she uh, her you know, her teaching um, method is so i mean i mean so it is so uh, she she has a complete i mean grip on her on her on her, on, her, on whatever she teaches us so she uh, literally she uh, when we send her our work on weekly basis we send her uh, uh, the pictures on the whatsapp group and she literally prints them she photocopies them and then she uh, corrects each every as his husband has been has already told that she um, the pencil moves on every and each single corner of the work and she corrects it and she makes uh, things so easy for us and the second thing is that uh, um, i'll just say that and uh, that may the almighty allah reward her for her sincere efforts to impart her knowledge i mean in such an effective way to us and all the best to the new students and uh, i will definitely uh, recommend this course to them uh, if they want to learn this uh, traditional art because uh, she is uh, i mean she is a uh, she is a very good teacher that's all i would like to say thank you so much very nicely put busha saiba thank you so much assalam alaikum everyone um, i have uh, tried my hand in tehzeeb before as well but it was a very um, what you can say it was a very immature effort <laughs> because i tried to learn through youtube videos um, because it, it's it's something that's very beautiful and it has always appealed to me and i have been a student of hastani's so um, i come across these things um, these regular courses ab jaise khatati ke hote hai ye so this was something when uh, we had this session with um, frenosh uh, in our uh, one year wisdom course as well so at that time i decided that either i'm going to learn persian or i would go for this uh, illumination course so when you guys offered it uh this time when i'm done with the wisdom course and everything so i decided that i'll go for it uh, the only question that i had in my mind was uh, cleared by ms kushra when she said that we do not need to have any prior art training for it because this was the only concern because i am not an artist but i do like beautiful things and i do like to draw and you know pretty things i i'm attracted to them so i wanted to learn this um and the only concern i have another concern that i have is um whether it's going to be expensive or not because all that gold thing uh, what is it i mean the gold color that you use is it really gold or is it just you know golden color ji is par aap dena chahenge yes 
so the thing is that we are still students so we can get away with cheap things <laughs> so okay. there is metallic gold uh, metallic gold available in the market we use it mm-hmm. until or unless we become very expert in the craft we just keep using that metallic gold it's the fraction of the price and uh, mm-hmm. when you are perfect and when you become an expert you can use real 24 karat gold and uh, it comes in different carats uh, uh, like green gold red gold yellow gold so you can mm-hmm. use it once you are an expert so if uh, if you are just practicing there are very very cheap options available in the market so you don't have to worry about that and also in the first semester we only use pencil paper and a tracing paper okay. so these th- three things are required for the first semester and in the second mm-hmm. semester when we start the coloring process we need a couple of gouache colors they are like two or three colors and mm-hmm. a set of nice watercolors maybe 12 12 uh, of them from mr winston mm-hmm. newton and a couple of brushes so okay. that will cost you around 7 uh, or 8000 in total if you are in lahore mm-hmm. yes okay so no i'm not lahore that's how <laughs> uh, yeah in but pakistan right. actually Huh. Yeah, you know yeah. I'll, i'll do it that's not a problem the only yeah, thing i was worried was uh, because there was this institute in karachi who were offering these online classes on tehseeb <laughs> and they were very technical and it just you know it scared me a little because she had all these big protectors and compasses and so much stuff and angles and you know and i was a little scared because mera maths bhi koi itna acha nahi hai so i thought well, ki maybe uh, <laughs> sometimes we do have communication with uh, conversation with khanam and uh, we uh, we wonder how the masters have achieved the things how they used to do all these things without modern tools and uh, what paper did, did they use and how it's fascinating when you start researching on the uh, master pieces you will get to know and you will think about more how they approach the process rather than just going to the market and getting the most expensive thing out of the shelf mm-hmm. yeah so old masters didn't do that <laughs> ah exactly exactly so there has to be another way of doing things you know mm-hmm. that was very useful uh rabia i would like to say anything else or should we move oh uh, no thank next? you very much please go ahead thank you very much Jee, assalamu alaikum. Um, I've uh, alaikum. done a course from uh, Hastunis before, Geometry One, and I really enjoyed it. Um, uh, I've been uh, very much interested in Tehsib since I uh, saw some very beautiful um, manuscripts at the British Museum uh, at the British Library a few years ago, and I was always interested in because they 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 are so. Um, perfect and beautiful that you always wonder if they've been made by the human hand and uh, i've always been interested in the process of it so um i i had been eyeing this course for a while and um i'm so glad that this um conversation came up and um i really enjoyed the presentation and um, thank you that's it thank you very much um i uh, like somebody else mentioned i am not from an art background um i actually just finished my phd in biology um and then i uh, relocated to islamabad um and then i took a course with uh vmcta in karachi um i just finished semester 1 of the diploma course um and one of the modules of that diploma course was illumination um and we created this piece with farhunde I thought I would just show you. Um so I have some idea of how this is done but because that was only a two week course we traced the pattern rather than coming up with the composition ourselves. Um so I just wanted to basically continue that and be able to come up with a composition myself with uh, myself and sort of refine my art. um and since i am new in pakistan i don't quite know where to find many of the equipment that's required um is the cat hair brush necessary because i recently have managed to find some squirrel hair brushes um would they be okay what would you say khanu uh this question uh, uh um 
uh, what should I say? <laughs> uh, the other students asked it before, and uh, um, as I told uh, to some other students, uh, I don't. Uh, I hadn't have any. Um, I haven't had any experience with uh, a squirrel brush, uh, okay. it, at, uh, uh, but I uh, but I sent uh, some cat brushes uh, uh, as well as uh, dry ink to students. Uh, okay. I think it's completely different from the other brushes. I think it's better to uh, one of them. Uh, talk about it, maybe because uh, they have uh, experience uh, with both of them. Okay, so would I be able to order one from you and get it delivered yes. during the course? Yes, okay. yes, yes. Okay, yes. That's, fine. that's fine. Thank you. You are welcome. Um, thanks, uh, can, I, can I say something? Yeah. Yes. Yes, uh, I would like to add that in the first semester, we don't need any expensive or special material. Uh, we use a, a simple uh, a basic stationery, like we used a simple uh, sketchbooks and A3 size papers and sheets and pencils. Um, so we don't need any special material in the first semester. But uh, as far as the colored part is concerned, which we uh, begin in um, second semester, for that, uh, uh, Farinoj guided us regarding the material and and she also helped us providing the material um, that was a, a special cat brush and dried ink and um, a burnisher and a different material which was required. So uh, you don't need to worry regarding the material. Uh, it is um, easily manageable. Once you have started, uh, you will uh, you'll get to know um, uh, from where you can get the material. Uh, even uh, uh, we are uh, all the students are like a family now. Uh, we've been working with each other. It's been almost... Uh, um, five to six months and uh, we used to share a different um, uh, different uh, informative uh, uh, platforms or forums or talks and videos with either uh, each other even the different resources resource materials we used to share with different books and links with each other so we are now like a family a small family and um, even we have a, 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 a student from australia she also um, I used to take these classes and um, uh, all of us has uh, have taken a few courses from Hastonis as well. Uh, 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 even I have attended a geometry course um, at Hastonis. I also attended a calligraphy um, a session at Hastonis and now I'm doing um, a Tazeeb uh, with Khanam. So it's been a very uh, uh, wonderful experience in Islamic art. Um, I mean, the traditional art is also, um, is very much interlinked with, uh, I mean, the Islamic geometry and the traditional patterns and uh, architecture these are all very much uh, interlinked so uh, so all these courses have um, enhanced um, uh, especially my uh, uh, visual vocabulary uh, i would say um, I, I mean i can now easily identify the motives the patterns uh, uh, they look very simple but when you start drawing them uh, uh, <laughs> you become you become confused and you get to know uh, that they are very complex but uh, i guess this is a part of learning and um, the, the the kind of feedback for Inosh gives us that is wonderful um, we used to uh, 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 I mean uh, uh, we used to send her our work um, on Saturdays and we have our class on Sunday so uh, she used to print out our work and then uh, um, she gives us feedback on the and um, critique on our work so um, I think uh, it is very interesting uh, I must say you should um, start studying it and then you'll um, get to know about the um, uh, about the practice and about the composition um, even we started with a very simple small uh, leaf uh, Badami, which was very interesting for us in the beginning and now we are able to make compositions not very perfect but even yes we can um, uh, 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 draw something so that is very interesting even, uh, I mean within four months we are able to draw um, or we can able to um, um, you can say copy uh, the um, uh, master works so it is very interesting so far wonderful thank you so much Rabia now I want to join the course <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Excuse me, there is one thing that I want to say. I, uh, I'm thinking about uh, an exhibition. Uh, maybe we can have an exhibition maybe uh, next, uh, next year. Uh, so we have uh, one year uh, time. Uh, so um, it, uh, I think it can be a good uh, um, encourage, <laughs> encouragement <laughs> encourage for all the students. Uh, the, I mean, the first group and the second group uh, and uh, so on, <laughs> whatever we have. And uh, I think it's so good and we can um, combine some calligraphy to our work. Uh, or uh, some geometry things uh, to tassip with each other or just tassip in some of the patterns in Shamsel, Lajak Toranj uh, or another things. So uh, I, I want to say that it's time to practice more and more and uh, try hard uh, to be, have a good exhibition. Thank you everybody for attending, especially Khanam Farinush, thank you. I know you're very busy and uh, all the students and prospective students. So, Khuda Hafiz and Shabba Khuda Hafiz. Thank you so much, Khuda Hafiz. Khuda Hafiz. Khuda Hafiz. Khuda Hafiz. Khuda Hafiz. Khuda Hafiz.